Hello dear viewers and welcome to T-World. Kindly hit the subscribe button and we will be on our way. In today's news, as per the Washington Post's fillet bump, in the winding down days of the Donald Trump organization after the 2020 political decision was lost and the Senate arranged to ensure the outcomes, previous VP Mike Pence was one of a wide exhibit of White House insiders trusting that Trump would acknowledge his destiny and leave unobtrusively as opposed to making the bedlam that ultimately broke out on Jan 6, responding to a report from the New York Times' Maggie Haberman. That Pence head of staff Mark Short brought in the top of the Pence's Secret Service detail to communicate fears that Pence may be in peril as Trump sloped up his analysis of him. The WAPO political experts guaranteed it was only the straw that broke the camel's back as pressures between the two developed and Trump wouldn't withdraw. As Bump reports, Mike Pence had been working for Donald Trump long enough by January 2021 to know how the example functioned. Trump was extremely worked up about his official political race misfortune and everyone around him were occupied either attempting to contain the harm or influence his fierceness, contingent upon their very own needs, that, thusly, put Pence in the camp of the people who by and by were trusting that Trump would burn out before he exploded. As per Bump, think about Pence at that time. He knows how distraught and disappointed Trump is. He hears Trump fixating on the VP's indicated capacities. He perseveres through Trump pushing on it again and again. Also, as Jan, Six approaches, that wheedling becomes public, adding that when Pence told Trump he was unable to proceed with the arrangement to hinder accreditation, the previous president seethed at him, no, 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 prior to adding, you've deceived us, I made you, you were nothing, your profession is finished assuming that you do this. The WAPO report noticed that that was the day Short plunked down with the Secret Service to convey his interests despite the fact that it is hazy whether they made any really meaningful difference with it as the NYT detailed, specifying different occasions of the day, including Pence declining to get in a Secret Service-provided vehicle. Bump stated, it's anything but a stretch to think Pence and his group, including Short and Kellogg had examined what they could expect in the consequence of the VP officially and freely dismissing Trump's ploy, that, as they were drafting that letter a long time before Jan. 6. They were making different arrangements. 2. Examining different defenses that should have been constructed, illuminating the Secret Service, consenting to stay with the interaction regardless of anything, assuming anybody in America figured out the rhythms and wraths of Donald Trump by Jan. 6. 2021. Definitely Mike Pence did. The WAPO examiner closed. Another news. On the cusp of the principal public Jan. Six hearing. A sensation report from Maggie Haberman uncovers that then Pence Chief of Staff Mark Short cautioned Vice President Mike Pence's Secret Service head of the security risk introduced by then President Donald Trump the day preceding the Jan. Six assault on the Capitol. Right behind the House Select Committee investigating the Jan. Six attack on the Capitol declaration that hearings will start next Thursday. Haberman dropped this sensation, uncovered while she explored her forthcoming book, the day preceding a horde of President Donald J. Trump's allies raged the Capitol on Jan. 6, 2021, Vice President Mike Pence's head of staff called Mr. Pence's lead Secret Service specialist to his West Wing office. The head of staff, Mark Short, had a directive for the specialist, Tim Jeebles. The president planned to turn freely against the VP, and there could be a security chance to Mr. Pence as a result of it. Mr. Short didn't have the foggiest idea what structure such a security chance could take. As per individuals acquainted with the occasions, be that as it may. Following quite a while of heightening strain from Mr. Trump on Mr. Pence to make the remarkable stride of mediating in the confirmation of the Electoral College build-up to prevent Mr. Trump's loss, Mr. Short appeared to have valid justification for concern. The VP's refusal to come was detonating into an open and harsh break between the two men when the president was stirring up the wrath of his allies who were spilling into Washington. That cautioning ended up being dead right. As Trump allies raised a noose, recited hang Mike Pence, and practically ran into him as they stripped the Capitol in a destructive assault that will be the subject of the following week's hearings, while Pence ended up resisting Trump's unlawful wishes. Short's admonition didn't make an interpretation of right into it to shield the Capitol from the mob that followed. If you made it to the end of the video, kindly hit the subscribe button and leave a comment, it helps the channel.